who gave the following triangle in pediatric dentistry? Now what we see in this triangle is there is a dentist, there is the parent and there is a child. Okay, So this is the periodontic triangle. Periodontic triangle. Okay, And this triangle was first given by Wright in the year 1975. Okay, so this is the correct answer that was given by Wright in 1975. Now, usually the relationship between the dentist okay, and an adult patient and an adult patient is linear in relationship, right? So, this relationship between the dentist and an adult patient is linear in relationship because the dentist will convey all the treatment uh, uh, plan and all the diagnosis, etc. directly to the patient and the patient has the authority to make those decisions for himself. So, this relationship is linear. But in periodontics, this is not the case. In periodontics, the child cannot be given any treatment plan, etc. without the consent of the parent. Okay, so it is the parent with whom the communication between uh, what needs to be done first takes place because the child does not have the authority to make the uh, decisions for himself because as a child he will not know what is good for him or what is not good for him, right? So a parent is always involved in this equation. That is why it is a periodontic triangle. Okay. Also, usually the child is in the periodontic triangle, the child is kept at the apex of the triangle because he is the focus of the attention or he is the focus of the treatment, right? So, the child is the most important uh, aspect within this periodontic triangle because what we want ultimately is whatever is the best for the child. These directions which are uh, denote, denoted here, okay, so these uh, directions show that uh, show communication okay so this shows that communication is not only one way or it's not only limited or uh, to from one aspect but it is open in nature that is the communication is between the dentist as well as the parent between the dentist as well as the, as the child okay and between the parent and the child itself okay so here the dentist not only has to deal with the parent in order to get the consent of the parent the dentist also has to work with the child so he has to make the child understand the treatment that is going to be carried out he needs to pacify him he needs to calm him down so the child is in a position to accept the treatment that is going to be carried out because more often than not the children that report to the dental clinic usually have some sort of a fear that is associated with the treatment okay so it is the responsibility of the dentist to first calm the patient down down, to talk to him to alleviate his fears so that he will be more cooperative during the treatment. Now this periodontic triangle was later modified. Okay, so this modification that was given that was given by McDonald's. Okay, so McDonald's gave the modification in the year 2004. So the modification that was given by McDonald's was that he added society okay, to the center of the triangle. So it is related not just to the uh, it is related not just between the dentist, the parent, and the child, but also the communication uh, that is uh, present that is reciprocal has society in the center of the triangle, meaning that uh, the management that uh, protocols that are going to be applied by the dentist should be in such a manner that is acceptable to the society. Okay, so this modification was added by McDonald's. So this again, they could ask you in the uh, examination who gave the modification of the periodontic triangle. 